right, here we are, guys. It is day four of being broken down in the spot. We're gonna get out of here today, hopefully. Anyway, I got to go up the mountain and see if Phil got a message on his phone and seeing if Colorado 4x4 Rescue is coming out today <sighs> to get me. Anyway, that's what's going on. heading up the mountain like we do every day multiple times a day really sketchy bumpy ride going up this is the smoothest part right here Every time. That rock gets me every time. Hey, there Morning. Morning, dude. 15th time I've ridden that hill on the one wheel. Welcome to camp again. Welcome to camp. Is this day four or five or day six? Day four, or... I think. Dude. All right, I'm gonna head down the hill and pull a drive shaft. Right. They're coming to get me, a trip across towing. At the moment, a company called Triple Cross Towing is coming to get me. They're gonna use a wrecker because there's, it's just too much of a four wheel drive trail for me to just be pulled up onto a flatbed with my huge freaking truck and cabin. And they charge by the hour when I get here, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove my rear drive shaft because they're gonna charge me to do that. So um, they need the rear drive shaft off of it so it can be towed out on the ground down this trail. So that's what's going on. I'm getting the truck towed to Gunnison, Colorado, uh, which is about 40 miles away once I get off the four wheel drive trail. And at that point, uh, it's going to Diesel Mechanic John's, who I hope to God he can figure it out, man, because I'm out of options. Been trying to fix it for four days straight. So I tried everything I know in my book. And I'm not a diesel mechanic, I'm just a guy. Anyway, that's the situation. So I'm gonna get towed out. Uh, Brian and Phil are gonna be behind me a little bit. I might meet back with them. Oh, might meet back up with them at some point. I'm a little bit nervous because it's already Thursday around noon. And uh, I'm supposed to be at the Red Rock show that I've been looking forward to for months uh, tomorrow night so i hope i can make it hope we can get this thing out of here and get it fixed today okay i'm back at the truck uh it's the biggest rear drive shaft in the world uh, i've got to pull this rear drive shaft off so and i just realized that i don't know if i have those star bits uh oh well first things first as much as i want to get dirtier than i am throw a tarp down Let's get out our tools. And I'm just gonna check right off the bat if I have a star wrench. Oh man, I'm thinking I don't, but, and I don't. Dang. Well, I guess I'm not pulling the drive shaft. That sucks. I would go ask those guys, but I just rode down the mountain again. It gets, it's getting so old going up and down this mountain. Oof. Hey boys doing? Good, how are you? Ah, uh, you know, just uh, broken down for four days. Four days now, huh? Yeah, I've been like back and forth trying to fix everything I can now. I'm just waiting. They're coming in to tow me out now, so. Do you mind if I take a picture of this? Yeah, go for it, man. I love this. Yeah, thank you, man. I mean, it's like, it's, a, it's only broken down three times in three years. It just happens to be like way the f*** out of four-wheel drive trail <laughs> yeah. of all places. Are you from Alaska? Yeah. How about you guys? Minnesota originally. I've been in Colorado like so much nice. for a long time. He's like, I know that guy. <laughs> well, and I recognized you after you passed, and when I saw him, I was like, You're like, wait a minute. I just saw the post that you guys needed a mechanic. I was like, oh, well, just there up here. Yep. That's it. All right. Enjoy y'all. Birds in the back country. These guys are pretty cool. Anyhow, I'm just uh, enjoying some time in the porch here. Beautiful sunny day. I mean, it is. you know what? For being broken down, like, I mean, come on now. Like pretty much doesn't get any more gorgeous than this. 
anyhow hopefully that tow truck's even coming we'll see hopefully they can make it up here i really don't want to but i need to climb up on my roof and uh straighten out my chimney cap i kind of clipped something the other day All right, get the chimney cap all straight from that tree bend. Oh cool, here comes Phil. I was just about to ride up the hill because I haven't heard from those guys. So towing truck should have been here a couple hours ago or something, so I don't know what's going on. I'll talk to Phil and find out what's up. Phil was the only one that had cell service up there, so hopefully he's not coming down to tell me bad news that the tow truck can't make it out here or something, so we'll see. For. You got a house. I need a lift. I don't know, man. I just gotta get out of here. I'm losing it. <laughs> well, we're here today. Uh, Hopefully, they'll be here soon. They, did they call you? Yeah, like an hour and a half ago, confirmed again. Oh that God. On the way. Yeah, I figured like they could get. Hopefully, they don't get lost. It's not gonna be cheap. It's about a thousand dollar tow out of here, unfortunately. So, and I already put a thousand dollars into the truck the last two days. So, I'm already two thousand in the hole, and it's going to a diesel mechanic. So, that's gonna cost more also. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, and then you Brian told them you're at the bottom of these switchbacks. Yeah, I told them I'm not at the lake, I'm just a little ways from it. So. Hey boys and girls, go ask what the tow truck's here. <laughs> yeah. Brian's leading them down. Nice. So it was good that Brian was there. Yeah. Um, yeah, Freaking. Looks, like, looks like the perfect truck. Freaking sweet, boys. Looks a lot like the truck that rescued uh, the Dodge Mahal from... Uh, <sighs> so oh yeah? Yeah, it's just a just a wrecker, man. Yeah, I could turn this into a wrecker if it run. Oh man, what a crazy four days. Wrecker, I just met her. <laughs> That's totally no OBS for it. See, so that shows you that this ain't no POS truck because the tow truck is the same truck as mine. Well, thanks, dude, for hanging out with me for four days down here and uh, driving dude, me to town. Of and, course, man. There's yeah. nothing else to do, man. This is just what happened. It's freaking sweet. And honestly, it was pretty fun. Yeah, okay, yeah. For the most part. In a really expensive way for me, but I had a good time. Yeah. yeah. on the back or toe point does it yeah, it might be able to just pull me up the hill just a little bit and i can roll back into this field over here you know yeah. and then you can just give me like one big swing yeah i, I can bring up this hill and i can just roll back into this field. all right cool there's no one coming till right now it's about right <laughs> come on baby go 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 Come on, baby. Go, 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 go. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, now you're going to have to move. Dude, nice work. Yeah. That was pretty. Getting her done. Probably pretty intense. Always fun uh, going off in soft territory fast with no power steering. Yeah, no you brakes. did great. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a better place to camp. Yeah, right? It's picturesque. Oh, man. <laughs> you could have been there for a few days. And sorry for the clown show, man. I wasn't expecting oh, no. this. He's good at 9. That's a 96 towing me out. Same really? here as mine. Yes. Yeah, that's bad. It was yeah. just like, it must be a reliable truck. Yeah. Say, you know? Dude, when he showed up, I was like, if they can do it, this thing can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can assist brake on the way down. It just won't be power. Oh, yeah, exactly. It won't be full yep. power. But yeah, I know. I'll help him out. Yeah, it will be a good show. <laughs> yeah, I'll pop it in neutral whenever you want me to. Just let me know. All right, bro. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make sure all those all those puppies are tight. Too fast to do a new aluminum bumper. I'm just staying low in case it pops. <laughs> that, that's how they're gonna do it, or are they gonna hook up? Such a sick truck. I feel like all these old bad wreckers are always like mid '90s old Fords yeah, like that. Just yeah. Tough, tough as nails. Yeah. Oh, it's been a hell of a trip, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I probably will remember this one. You get about two feet. You're touching now. There you go.
Come on, big girl. Wow. Oh, lifting her like a champ. Yeah. Look at that. This one heavy engine too. And I'm glad I got that high, high approach angle rear porch. I've never seen two wheels off the ground in this truck ever. Right? Wow. The engine's literally like 2,000 pounds. Yeah. Got the cruise control. Got a little bit of cruise control up in there. Hey man, sometimes simple's the easier way. Oh no. Cruise control? <laughs> <laughs> we'll fill it bobs out of here they're gonna roll down the road ahead of us get some shots coming out all right we're doing it we're getting towed out y'all <laughs> it's freaking crazy this is a one thousand dollar tow by the way <laughs> so we're getting towed to gunnison colorado uh the first thing we have to do is get towed off this four-wheel drive trail to altitude auto and I've got to borrow a, uh, a torque wrench so I can remove the rear drive shaft. And then after uh, we get the drive shaft off, we're hitting the highway 30 minutes to Gunnison. Then I'm going to a shop that can hopefully hook me up, 7.3 Power Stroke Masters. So if he can't fix it, then I'm in trouble. That's what's up. Oh, thank you, man. No worries. Good luck, man. I appreciate it. Good to be, good to be getting out of here. That was nerve wracking. He was starting to slide in the tow rig. I was pushing him down the hill, like where he was out of control. Whew, that was scary. Oh, we're down to the bottom of that hill. Still gonna go down some more, but we're down that one. Whew, that was sketchy, y'all. We had to stop and reattach the sling. The truck was sliding off the sling. So we're just ugh, rallying a little bit too fast. We're just about losing it though. I was pushing him down the hill and kind of sliding and it was shaking back and forth and it kind of wanted to tip over. I got pretty lucky. But I think that was the worst hill, knock on wood. But there's definitely a couple more we get to do. Oh. Just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, the tow truck just broke down. He uh, got the uh, wheels lifted up in the air because we had climbed a steep hill and uh, landed. Blew a hose off, so we're going to fix that. There's some gloves too, man. Keep yourself from getting a burn down in there. Help a little bit. I've got more power steering fluid and everything in there too. Is that a quarter inch? That quarter inch? Oh. Glad it usually just blows that line out of the top of the reservoir, you know, and then you have to replace the whole freaking hose. Fixed it. The power steering uh, hose blew off. And I blew mine off about a month ago, so I happen to have some parts we needed in power steering fluid, so we fixed it, and here we go again. Phil's airing up over here. We're on. All right, this is the last hill, and then we're kind of home free if he can just make it up this one. He's trying to hit it hard. Come on, baby. We're almost up. Yeah, <laughs> we're up. Woo. Oh, that is a relief, boys and girls. We're back on like not the main dirt road, but we're on a better, more main forest service road. So I think we'll be all right. It goes Phil. Whoa, he almost took out the tree. <laughs> nice. Whew. It's a sketchy. We're on like a side of a huge cliff down here. <laughs> we gotta get back through here. This is the drone shot you guys saw in the video when we were driving up. One thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is where I broke down was as far out into the drive as you could possibly be. I, I broke down like right in the middle of the trail we're doing. So it was the longest tow possible, unfortunately. But looks like we're actually getting out of here. We're on a better dirt road now. And uh, I think we're gonna make it back, knock on wood. Oh yeah. 
sight for sore eyes. There's Crested Butte right up here. We're gonna make it to the main road. Oh my God. And we're on the pavement. All right, we made it down to Crested Butte. <laughs> this is crazy. So we're going to a, a Altitude Automotive and we're gonna borrow some sockets so that I can take my drive shaft off because you're not supposed to tow uh, any vehicle without removing the drive shaft or else it burns up the transmission. So uh, we were able to do that in the four-wheel drive trail because we're going slow, but now we have to get on the highway and go 30 minutes to Gunnison, so we need to remove the drive shaft. Anyway, that's the plan. So we're going to go take the drive shaft off and go head to the diesel mechanic in Gunnison, and then I'll owe these guys a thousand bucks for towing me out. Oh, oh. that's good timing, I guess. Yeah. Wow, was... Woo. Oh, man. Ugh. He just snapped his towing belt off right as we're pulling into the place. That scared me pretty good. That was pretty hard hit. I might have torn the bumper up a little. It blows my mind that happened right here. I feel like it should have happened on the trail. That's, this tow truck's done. We blew it up twice, so they're getting another one to get me down there. But now it's pavement, so. <laughs> good timing. I mean, that could have happened on the trail, too. That's nuts. The saga continues. So he's gonna tow me backwards out on the road drag me over there in the shade then he's gonna go get another bigger tow truck with a flatbed <laughs> oh I gotta steer now here goes our tow man so we busted the tow strap as we're pulling in to disconnect the drive shaft out of the shop so he's gonna go get another tow truck two breakdowns and two tow, tow trucks later but you know what? I'm in Crested Butte, so there you go. Might as well, man. <laughs> it just doesn't end. It's crazy. At least I got to finish that burrito. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. I'm going to get my one and get down there. We're here to get the flatbed. <laughs> we're, get, we're getting there. My God. I still can't believe that belt broke in that thing or both of them. That's crazy. We're here. Decent mechanic John to see if he can help out in the morning. goes a tow truck driver legit anyway Whew. we are here we made it to Gunnison Colorado I'm exhausted uh, I don't even know what happened today it's so crazy working on the truck for four days uh, tow truck driver came out we almost rolled the uh, tow truck over we were climbing a really steep hill unfortunately I wasn't filming it just weighed him down too much in the rear he lost all his steering and his front wheel started going up in the air his front tires were literally six feet off the ground he almost rolled over backwards and then brought it back down and blew out the power steering hose when he brought it down. And then right as we're pulling into the place, uh, the auto mechanic shop in uh, Crested Butte, where I was gonna borrow a tool to remove the drive shaft, the whole tow system broke. Like the, my truck literally fell to the ground right as we're pulling into the place. And I am so fortunate that didn't happen in the trail. It could have, I mean, that would have been really bad. Since he broke the first one, he went and picked up another tow truck, put me on the flatbed and got me here. Now I'm in Gunnison at, uh, guy named John's uh, Power Stroke Diesel Shop, and uh, hopefully he can help me on the morning. Maybe I can even make the Red Rock show tomorrow night. Anyway, I'm exhausted. It's dinner time. See you guys later. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video here, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and who knows what will happen next. Peace, y'all.